Hi Diamond Divas. I have another Diamond Art Club purchase from Black Friday um, group back in November. And this is a square diamond painting. Let me pull you back now that you've seen the pick. And I uh, just want to let you, remind you that all Diamond Art Club um, canvases come to you with a plastic wrapping. An anti postage booger and up plastic <laughs> if they get accidentally left out in the rain. Anyway, um, this is a square diamond painting as noted by the square here. You see an unlock 10% off scan me code here, but you can get 15% off of your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club um, by clicking the link below my affiliate link. You also get all the beautiful instructions on the back of the kit and the warranties and all that good stuff. Okay, let's pull her out here. Alrighty. Let's see what it contains. All right. Fire Oak Ball. Here is the little sticker that you can use on the end of the box. You can make a cover minder out of it if you'd want to, or you can make a magnet out of it, stick it on your refrigerator, put it in your notebooks, whatever you'd like to do with a little sticker. I love to use them on um, on my inventory sheets so I know what I have yet to kit up. All right, so the toolkit, the basic new toolkit. Just know that if you get an older painting, if you order an older painting, they will not come with the extras that this kit does, which is, I'll show you those in a moment. First, you get a tray with a stopper, a removable stopper, so that it's easy to um, uh, pour out your diamonds. You get a random colored pen and squishy. They usually match. You get two uh, multi-placers, a five and a seven. You get a heart of wax, two hearts of wax in its own little container here. You get a bunch of baggies. All right, put that back in here. First, since it is a square kit, you get a wonderfully sharp tweezers with a protective end on it. You, the extras you would get is a cover minder. Look how tiny, look how cute, a popsicle. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe a chicken, a chicken popsicle. <laughs> yep. Um, the cover minders hold the plastic. Um, they have a magnet for the bottom and this one, they hold the plastic back from the, um, the canvas. Uh, that you're part of the canvas you're working on. They also have washi tape which is great for the sides of the canvas so that it keeps the dirt and dust and stuff and hair and stuff off of your painting on the edges. Um, and you can use it for uh, aligning the sides to keep your drills straight on the edges. Also, uh, you can use it to put down you know, divide up your canvas into areas by putting this on the plastic cover, not on the actual sticky part, but you put it on the cover and then you can cut off a section at a time that you want to work on. Now, I use it for planning and for um, documenting life and scrapbooking and that kind of thing too. So, I um, have other videos, oops, I have other videos on this channel about planning and documenting life and that kind of thing that you might want to check out too. Other ways to use your washi tape. Okay, now let's get into the, the painting and the second protective plastic cover. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, for caring how your kits arrive to us. I am going to roll this up the back way here. You can do that with poured glue canvases. All Diamond Art Club canvases are poured glue. And that means it has the protective... Um, that means the glue goes all the way out to the edges, and it doesn't... 
uh, form wrinkles or bubbles. And before I open up this gorgeous, gorgeous kit, I can show you that it has a thank you booklet on the inside, 20% off of your first purchase from the app. It has a thank you message by the founder, Angie, and it has all the information, tips, tricks, and instructions on the inside, and an invitation to join their Diamond Art Club VIP group. Inside you will find a giant sticker. Uh, you can use it as a name, and it's by Chris Ortega, and you can use it for your journals. It has all the information on it that you need, and it also has the stickers for each of the different colors that you'll find in the kit. This kit has 44 colors. The first two are Aurora Borealis because their numbers, in Diamond Art Club numbers, are below the number 150. And it's a red and a green um, that are uh, the Aurora Borealis in this kit. They are individually little uh, cut stickers so that you can kit them up in the plastic bags or in your own containers. Each packet of drills comes with the name of the kit and the number, the inventory number of the kit. I'm going to put these aside for a moment while we take a tour of the canvas. Um, this canvas will be, what's the size of this canvas? I neglected to tell you that. 22 by 31 inches, which is 56 centimeters by 79 centimeters. Okay. Let's take a look at her as we open it up here. Oh, that's where the red and green go, right in here. In her jewelry. Definitely. Oh, look at that brilliant face. I don't I hope you're not seeing it distorted as in um yeah. Gorgeous black brown hair flowing out in all ways. You have this ribbon of fabric that's flowing around the top edge and matches her um, her bustle. The outside looks like monarch a monarch butterfly wings. Did you notice that? The outside decorations look like monarch, monarch butterfly wings. That's what she looks like she's on top of. Let me roll this out this way. See? She has a, um, a bustier and it has the the colors of um, the, 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 the ones and twos, the Aurora Borealis diamonds, are going to be down in here and in her bracelet and all her jewelry. Again, more monarch wings in the background, more fire red um, fabric noticed, and she looks like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trade out some of these for some in the jewelry for gold, for the real gold gem um, drills. The ones that are metallic gold. I'm going to trade that out in her bracelets and her jewelry. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous! And it brings the eye right to where you want it. To her wrist, to her hips. The wrist shows the motion of uh, her motion as she's dancing and the the gorgeous um, jewelry bring your eye down and up and it keeps rolling around the canvas that way down and up down and up and in her jewelry and in here absolutely beautiful <gasps> oh. I love that monarch butterfly background and the flow the dancing flow that you see in her at the bottom of every Diamond Art Club canvas, you will find a thumbnail and all the details on the bottom. Um, you, in this kit, there is lots of color blocking, lots of areas where there's one color in a large area or in a section or in a stripe. And then you have these confetti areas where the jewelry are, where you have a lot of different colors in one place. You will find that Diamond Art Club um, canvases have a uh, an edge, a uh, poked, pinked and poked edge. Looks like somebody ran a pinky shears along it and uh, stitched with the sewing machine without any thread in it. That's so that it doesn't fray. It's a nice soft back canvas, but it's nice and firm. So as you're looking at this gorgeous babe, let me pull out the drills.
I like to put the this in the bottom of the drill pack so that I can see the the picture and in case the canvas and drills get separated it's an easy visual reminder of which kit they belong to okie dokie so there'll be some of the smaller ones the red and green will be some of the smaller ones we'll start with those drills yep there's the one. Oh, there's the other. Okay. <laughs> you can see practically the same color next to each other. One has a special shine on it, and one has the flat side on it. So that's one of the special drills that I'll show you. <gasps> it does! It does have the gold! Why didn't I see that? At the very bottom, this starts with a K. And these are the metallic golds. Aha! That's where I would have put them. In the jewelry, where I told you I would put them. That's where they are. Square metallic gold shine. Oh, oh awesome. Okay, let's look at this set of drills first. I'm going to need to save my voice now. I've been unkidding many of them today. You'll see them one at a time over time, but I'm, I'm, I'm unwrapping many of them from our, my Black Friday purchases and beyond. So, yeah. Okay, let me roll these up. <laughs> I knew it would. I knew it would have gold in it. That's what I would do. Alright, here is the Aurora Borealis Red. That fire engine red color. Okay, now let's show you this train of colors. Opals in Australia... Um, if you've seen Opal Hunters, the show on Discovery Channel, I think it is, um, they are in the outback and in Australia, and they find the most fiery opals. They find the most, they mine for them. They're under the ground, and it's a very dangerous, dusty job. And how they clean them up, how they find the rocks, I mean, how they glow at night, um, and they dig them out, and all the different colors that you will find in an opal. I, I never knew they came in so many different colors before. This is basically brown, but uh, huh. the fiery colors, if you can find an opal, an opal one, are just amazing. You might want to check out that series on Discovery Channel. Here you go. Mm. Just enough bling to make it beautiful to pull your eye around the canvas. Just enough black and dark colors to set off the lighter colors. Just like you need the light, you need the darkness as well to set off the light. And that's a good lesson for life, too. Into every life there will be some darkness to help you appreciate the bright, beautiful, joyful times. If you let them. Yep. All right. Let's look at the shine, the beauty of this girl again. It looks like she has some henna tattooing around her eye as well. That's gorgeous. I... She doesn't look very Egyptian. It's a belly dancing harem type out. Just, just beautiful. She's got some henna tattooing on her belly too. Nice. Always wanted to take a belly dancing class. Have any of you done any belly dancing? 
I guess at 60, uh, <laughs> might look a little ridiculous. I have more belly than others do at this age. Uh, <laughs> so, but I'd still love to maybe lose weight doing belly dancing. That would be fun. Tell me what you think of this canvas. Did you buy this? Did you pick this one up too? Um, and, you know, do you like dancing? Do you like belly dancing? Um, do you think she looks Middle Eastern? Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I this is so beautiful. The background, like a monarch butterfly, just is just, just, uh, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I hope you enjoy this too, and don't forget to like and subscribe so that YouTube can recommend this channel to others who like diamond painting. And uh, thank you for coming along for the ride. See you soon, divas. Bye-bye. Thank you.